welcome back to the Airfield Estates Wine Blog. Uh, we're here today, the last day of bottling uh, in March. Uh, we, we bottled so far uh, nine products, and we have uh, our last three to go. So it's exciting to be finishing up, and uh, today we'll take you through the whole um, bottling process from start to finish. taking the glass and uh, putting it on the uh, conveyor. Um, he is uh, you know, just dumping the, the pieces and uh, manually uh, putting them on the conveyor. Uh, from the start of the conveyor, they next go into the, the sparging unit. And what that sparging unit does is it uh, is blowing nitrogen into every single bottle and at the same time pulling out any dust that might be in the bottom of, of the bottles, uh, any, any sort of um, just particulates uh, to make sure the bottles are clean. Then it goes along this carousel here and uh, you see the bottles raise up um, as they go along and uh, over the course of that carousel they're being filled and uh, as they come around, around the other end they're uh, up to level or, or slightly above. And so this next unit here uh, you can see the, there's a little um, piece that goes into each uh, bottle and what that does is it sucks out any excess wine and it gets the level to be uh, the same in every single bottle of wine. So uh, it's, it's, it's working on the fill level. Um, if we did cork our bottles, it'd be corked right there at the next station, but because we don't, uh, it just skips that station and it goes on to um, right here. And Ricardo is uh, currently putting on the screw caps. Um, he just uh, places them on every single bottle and uh, they just kind of line up uh, until we get over here. And uh, this is our uh, screw, the screw cap machine. Uh, the first little thing, uh, make sure the, the screw cap's on secure. And then uh, the spinner comes down upon the bottles and uh, puts the um, appropriate uh, lines in, in the screw cap, applying pressure downwards and uh, rollers on the side to make sure that, that screw cap is secure. Um, and uh, then once it's done with that, it just uh, goes along this conveyor. Uh, you can see it going all the way around. And uh, what, what I do is uh, one of my main jobs is quality control. So I'll take a bottle and I'll be looking at uh, the screw cap. I want to look and see, make sure there's a, a little bit of a line right here along the, the top. Uh, that, that shows you there's been uh, enough downward pressure. I'm also going to check out the bridge. Um, the bridge right here, I'm making sure every single one of these uh, threads is still uh, connected. And it is. Uh, in the past we've had some problems with our bridges, as our uh, fans will know. Um, but not this uh, bottling, it's all been great. And uh, just making sure that uh, all the um, rollers did their job and that there's uh, the appropriate lines are around the screw cap. So the bottle looks good. Uh, it's a silk screen, so no label needs to be applied. And what we'll do is we'll just uh, stick that bottle back and it will make its way around and it will be uh, putting cases on the other end. So this is my friend Martin. Martin's job is to put all of the bottles in the cases and to not miss any. There always needs to be 12, not 11, not 10, 12. So he's really good at that. Uh, we've been bottling for four days now and uh, I haven't seen him miss one. So uh, doing a good job. Uh, Tim here, uh, his job is to put the um, labels on each, each uh, case. Each case needs to be labeled appropriately to the kind of wine it is. And he's also, as you can see, uh, getting the cases ready for uh, uh, Martin to, to um, fill. And then we get to Vicente. He's got his uh, ear, ear plugs in, uh, listening to some uh, tunes. Um, he's doing the stacking of the pallet. And uh, we have a certain way that the pallets need to be stacked. It's kind of a varying sequence as it goes up. 
And so uh, he's, he's doing that as well as uh, taping uh, the cases. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, after the cases uh, get, uh, make a complete pallet, Carlos will come along and wrap them with pallet wrap, and then they'll be stacked in our case goods. And uh, we'll take you there just to, to see how much we bottled in the last four days. So uh, these are some of the cases from the day. Uh, here's about uh, seven pallets of wine. All these are red wines, uh, reserve cab, and behind that is uh, some aviator red. And here's uh, the wine from yesterday. Uh, we have some Merlot that was bottled yesterday. Um, in here we have Riesling. And then all this, all this stuff, all these pallets stack three high. Um, our uh, stuff that's been bottled uh, over uh, the, the month of March and uh, just really uh, um, six days of bottling and uh, we will have about a hundred pallets when it's all finished so a lot of wine um, but uh, uh, we're, ex we're expecting great things uh, the wine's awesome so uh, hope you guys will uh, come down and uh, take a few bottles off our hands thanks a lot and uh, that's it for the bottling update